what's up? Sami here. Today we are going to take a quick look at the. Okay, not this one. This is the Oppo Fan N. <coughs> and also, not this one. This is the Owner Magic V. But this Vivo X Fold. Vivo's first foldable phone. Special thanks to KG MX and Phonics Lab for sharing the content. For that boring unboxing part, I've already done a short video two days ago. You can check it out if you want. In this video, I only focus on three things. Design, gaming, and the camera performance. Later, I will translate my partner Eva's foldables comparison video in which they compare the newest six foldables on the market. I think that video is probably the most comprehensive one on the internet. So please give us a subscription and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any informative tech video from us. About the design, here the one we are showing you is the grey leather edition, which looks so business style, which I think is perfect for my video viewers. After all, you guys are all successful CEOs. This design fits your noble status. There's also a blue color, looks clean and fashionable. Which one do you like most? Let me know in the comments section. There are two designs on this foldable that I really like and I haven't found on others. One is the physical alert slider. Just one slide to silence everything. Perfect for you when attending a summit meeting. The other is the 3D ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on both inner and outer screens. It's faster even than the Vivo X17 Pro Plus. And you know what? The bad thing is, even when your hands get wet, you can easily unlock it as well. Wow! Of course, I guess the most concerning part for anyone who is going to try a foldable is the craze. Here is how it looked when we just took the phone out of the box. It looks perfectly fine, not obvious at all, not like one big brand <clears throat> Samsung. Even if you don't use it, you can see a giant crease there. But what about after some time of use? This is the one after one week of daily driving. We fold at least 50 times a day. We can see the crease from certain angles. But I would say it's good among other foldables. And if we light up the screen, it's even less obvious. But yeah, if you have to ask who has the best crease, I would say it's the Oppo Fan N. I've been using it since its release back three months ago. It still looks good. Oh, by the way, Vivo advertises that the phone screen should survive 300,000 folds. If you fold 80 times a day, you can fold straight for 10 years. 10 years, by that time, I would be too old to make tech videos. <laughs> All right, moving to the next part, gaming. I know for busy, successful business people like you may not care about that much, but maybe still play some games occasionally for relaxation. So we tested some popular games a little bit. For Jensen Impact, we found that after only merely a minute of around 60 FPS, it then locked the game at around 40 FPS. After half an hour, the highest temperature on the front is 40.7 degrees Celsius, while 45.3 degrees Celsius on the back. Seems the X Fold adopted a less aggressive strategy towards its gaming performance. Also, I found some interesting things when we were gaming. For all of Kings, if we use the inner screen, we find it has a longer but narrower viewing field if we compare it to a normal phone. If we use the outer screen, we found that the X Fold has a same vertical but longer viewing area as we can see from the video. For PUBG, we found the X Fold has the same horizontal view but much more vertical content. Holy smoke! See? That's the reason why I always win in PUBG games. Lastly, about the camera. The phone adopted a 50 megapixel main, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel portrait, and a 5 times optical, 60 times digital zoom periscope lens. These are flagship level specs, aren't they? We compare it with iPhone 13 Pro Max and Samsung S22 Ultra. For me personally, I'm amazed by how it performs in different scenarios. These pictures look clean and have good color reproduction. I don't think they fall short to the other two.
right now, here's the kind I prefer. <laughs> Okay. Alright, that's the video. I know there are many things I didn't cover like specs or software side. No worries, I will put them in my next comparison video. Please make sure to subscribe. It's not easy to make good quality videos, even shitty ones. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Sammy. I will see you in the next one. Okay.